Say whether you think the next item is heavier or lighter than the previous item. Can I ask questions? You can ask me one. Are you a child of divorce? <laughs> Julian, you seem to have a sizzling contempt for Alex, I detected early on. <laughs> oh, really? Well, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm advancing. You're doing very well. Oh, it's OK. So I'm just going to... Do I have to...? <laughs> what an absolute shower of shit you are. Well, I think you like canapes, am I right? I love canapes. Oh, they're so small and delicious, oh aren't they? Oh, my God, pop them in. Oh, well, here they are. <laughs> there we go. Canapes. <laughs> small and delicious. <laughs> Willy or flour? Flour. Flour heavier. Oh. You have to now hold the one to indicate that you're out. Oh, it heavily. is very... Hmm. You utter shit. <laughs> Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Alex Horn. At last. Sucks. Sorry. <laughs> Don't take that. Edit. Bleep that. Calendar. Oh. <laughs> did a film towards the end of last year and you normally have like a big party and some people give you gifts and I was presented with this. <laughs> to this day I don't know what vibe I give off. <laughs> Who are all these people in pictures? That's a good question. Giles. Someone Giles. Nearly. That man with the teeth. Rob Beckett. Rob Beckett. Aha. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh -huh. Another comedian. So I'm not supposed to know his name. He's sort of small and nasally. He is small, that's exactly right, yeah. I don't really watch any other comedians. I don't know why. Oh, not even <laughs> that man with the teeth. <laughs> has he been on this show? He has. <laughs> and we've had small and nasally on. Can I use this as a whole? It's a coffee cup. A coffee cup, you say? Out of the two of us. You absolute <laughs> anus. You prize anus. A hole? Yes. Right. Ah, oh, there you are. Radiating your usual charisma. <laughs> Julian actually said afterwards that I've got the charisma of Matt Hancock. <laughs> Choose a new nickname based on something you do in the next 20 minutes. Fuck pig, I used to be called. <laughs> and was that mummy? <laughs> um, I was worried, uh, Julian, that this one wasn't firing up your imagination. And then, out of nowhere... Oh, hello, fuck pig. <laughs> your legal department won't thank me for going into details. Uh, that's what, is that your starting position? It is. Times okay. I've been asked that. <laughs> it's nice that you let your nephew come up with tasks and once every while. <laughs> it makes you appreciate the really good ones. Do I allow Sue's head tossing? Mm. It did say they were meant to be standard coin tosses. Listen, I've travelled, I've been lucky enough to travel a lot. Uh, <laughs> just because we toss a coin in the West like this... Yeah. Let we me all know you. that in Peru, that's how they did it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid it's not considered a standard coin toss anywhere in the world. It's good I've got a jacket for this eventuality. <laughs> <laughs> Lucy Beaumont's den. Oh. Oh. That's quite clever, though, because I do like a den. Well, you can hide in there waiting for your victims. <laughs> <laughs> There's a trail of crisps, you know, where someone might go, oh, crisps, and then they'll come in the den and then you can get them. <laughs> can you fit in there, OK? <sighs> <laughs> well, I thought we saw you were so stylish. I know you're going to start dressing like Fagan at a disco. <laughs> I think I'd like to wear you in a little papoose. <laughs> Carry you around. Sometimes I'd like to cover you in oil and uh, hoover up the house and empty it on your um, your writhing, oily body. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Sniff the front door! 
Did you watch Lucy sniff the front door? I did watch her sniff the front door. What did it smell like, Lucy? It smelled like wood! I'm going to try sniffing the back door. <laughs> Just a shout if you're going to comment. You're a mucky buggy! Have you had Botox? <laughs> well, first... It's a straight yes or no. It's definite no. You do look like you have had to. It yeah. does! <laughs> you look as smooth as fiberglass. <laughs> You know, he's right. You look like a canoe. Right. <laughs> Please come back for a driving lesson. <laughs> Hello, Sam. Welcome. How are you? Welcome to your first driving lesson. Well, firstly, you enjoyed your flashing blue hat and your authority too much, didn't you? I enjoyed it a lot. You did? <laughs> Blowing his little whistle. What a knob. Now, <laughs> Lucy, and I say this only in driving terms, mm -hmm. I think there's something wrong with you. <laughs> That's the instructor said. Sam, you seemed very annoyed when you were called back at one point. Yes, I think I know what you mean. It's this bit. <laughs> he kept whistling and the authority figure, his yeah, hat was loved... pissing me off, man. Yeah. And he was smirking and he was nasty. He's a spiteful little shit, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're not doing my task right. <laughs> Behave weirdly. Shall I behave like you? Yes, please. Julian displays a continual and, to me, delightful contempt for Alex. <laughs> and this is the Zenith, I think, doing an <laughs> insulting impression of him. Can I see it again? Yes. I've <laughs> nothing I can do to help you. <laughs> so, is that enough? <laughs> yeah, that, that was um, before his surgery. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, it only feels right I should get your comment on both women turning on you like snakes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just exciting to know people are talking about me. <laughs> ah, Susan. Hi. <laughs> Julian. Hello. Good evening. <laughs> no, no. Ah, might just adjust this to stay in the same frame. I thought that Sue and Susan looked quite sweet in their bedtime outfits mm. and everyone else looked like they were members of a cult. <laughs> <laughs> it's so awful. Someone said it looks like Alex without his beard. <laughs> I don't know, he's got a normal width neck. We all knew, as soon as you came out as a bird, I went, oh, no. <laughs> because if you ask Alex to eat anything, he always says yes. We were at a wedding together once, and I made him eat a whole pat of butter. Mm. It was weird. <laughs> he just went, yeah. well, I'm not the one who gobbled a beaver's anal gland. <laughs> <laughs> So my daughter had a hair braid and then it sparked a memory. My mum was at our house and I said, well, I used to have one of them. Cos I untaffled my daughter's when she didn't want it in and I said... Uh, <laughs> I'm fairly sure untaffled isn't the so... word. <laughs> what? Untaffled. Are you joking me? Your search did not match any documents. Did you mean unruffled, unmuffled, unravelled or unbaffled? No. Nope. OK. <laughs> The people screaming at the TV now. Nah, well, fuck we can it. listen. Fuck them. <laughs> you know, when two samurai encounter. This is real. Yeah. <laughs> when they encounter each other, yeah. they'll like, do you know what I mean? And then the first one to move will often be slain. <laughs> and also, a samurai can tell if he will defeat another samurai just by watching them make a cup of tea. Because they're like, they see how effective they are. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy to be slain just to get out of this chat. <laughs> he's excited because he's going to crush me again. Let's see what the dream crusher's got in store. <laughs> That's what my children call me. OK, here we go. I'm going to go for plan B and just throw some things. Yeah, watch that hand. <laughs> the dream crusher! <laughs> wow. That's fingertip cruel, eh? He's right. It's fingertip cruel, mate. <laughs> so nice, but underneath it all, you're just a shit. 